Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for my last Dotson brother, Earthrise Blue Streak. And this decal set includes three decal sheets, one on foil backing, and two on vinyl. I also have a non-F hubcap set for Blue Streak's vehicle mode that was given to me as a gift from a member of the channel. So now let's take a look at Blue Streak both before and after Toy Hacks decals and non-F upgrades. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Blue Streak looks great. The color scheme on this figure just pop. Aside from the clear shins, I despise the fact that Hasbro used so much clear plastic on these Dotson figures. I know a lot of people personally who've had their figures snap because of all this clear plastic. But that's a story for another video. Taking a closer look at Blue Streak, I love the paint applications for the head sculpt. He's got the red crest, silver face, and blue eyes. Really like the two-tone look there on the chest with the red and white Autobot symbol that really, really stands out. Not very many paint applications on the rest of the body. It's all just colored plastic until you move down to the toes where he's got paint applications there for the brake lights in vehicle mode so all in all blue streak looks great as is just not a lot of details and no blue so there you go guys blue streak in robot mode before and after blue streak gets quite a few new decals to help enhance his robot mode and the first ones you're probably noticing are the new decals down there on the windows that take away his clear shins he also gets new decals right there on the crest, new decals here on the chest, including these red signal lights, a Fair Lady Z license plate, new decals here for the shoulders that you do have options for. You have blue or black. I decided to give Blue Streak some blue. And you got little red decals right there that goes in this little gap right there on the shoulders. New turbo decals right there on the door wings. Down here on the stomach area, I put a CHC decal, which is a throwback to the Generation 1 toy. You also have an option, if I can find it, of just a green decal, as you see right there. He also gets new decals right there on the waist and a decal right there in that little triangle. New yellow decals on the thighs and decals here on the side. Blue decals on the wrists. Moving on down, you got decals right there that are the third brake light in vehicle mode. New tail light decals and a bumper along with a license plate. So there you go, guys. Blue streak in robot mode after. In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, I think opposed to robot mode, Blue Streak looks a little plain. I mean, the only thing he really has going for him in this mode is the two-tone look with the hood and the roof. Other than that, there's really not much at all. You've got the white and red Autobot logo right there. Horrible, clear windows. I mean, if those were tinted, they would look a little bit better. But since they are crystal clear, you can look through and see all of the robot junk and hinges there on the inside. I hate that. And of course, he's got the clear windows here on the back that do have some texture to them. And there is the horrible looking wheel clips that the non-F pieces are hopefully going to fix. Now, I do like the fact he has 
silver rims, but the clips really take away from that. Now my blue streak, for some reason, just does not peg in as tight as my smokescreen, barricade, and prow. So nothing I really can't live with. And of course, here on the back, you do have the brake lights once again. So I do like the paint details back there. So there you go, guys. There is one final look at Blue Streak in vehicle mode before and after. Now, Blue Streak's vehicle mode doesn't get near as many decals as Smokescreen, Prowl, or even Barricade, but what he does get really makes a difference in vehicle mode. And the ones I love the most, as usual, are these window decals that go all the way around, covering up that horrible clear plastic. And I think that looks so good. I love the two-tone look with the silver that blends into the blue. That just looks awesome. He also gets a Fair Lady Z logo right there. Front of the vehicle, he does get a vanity license plate that says Fair Lady Z. You do have options, like it says Streak. On the side of the vehicle, he gets little turbo decals right there below the doors and chrome reflective side mirror decals. And man, I love how those look. That is really, really cool. On the back of the vehicle, he gets third brake lights and rear tail light decals that wrap all the way around and another vanity license plate that this time says streak. Once again, you do have options. There also is a new black bumper that goes all the way around. It really breaks up all the gray. Now let's take a look at those non-F hubcaps. And man, do those look good and really change up the look of those wheels. Though I may take my Molotow chrome pin and really spruce those up. And here you see on the back, or on the other side, the difference between just the gap clip and the hubcap. So let me bring in one of those to show you how easy they are to install. Nice, smooth plastic. And, man, so glad it didn't hit the floor. I'd be looking for that forever. So, yeah, they are kind of hard to get a hold of. So if you get in your fingernail just right, it slides right into the gap on that clip. You have to get it straight. Get that in, press, and you are good to go. And I think Blue Streak looks fantastic now. So there you go, guys. Blue Streak in vehicle mode with Toy Hacks decals and non-F hubcaps after. The Toy Hacks decal set for Earthrise Blue Streak really adds a lot more personality to this figure, which I think is appropriate because Blue Streak had tons of personality in the G1 cartoon. I do like the fact that you have options, just like the other Dotson brothers, for the shoulders with the black and the blue. But like I said, Blue Streak needed more blue. And got to give a huge shout out to Non-F Productions for those wheel covers. Those look amazing. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!